In this video, we'll cover the VMware SD-WAN Edge. We'll get to know the primary functions of Edge devices, and we'll learn how SD-WAN Edges are accessed, configured, and controlled. The VMware SD-WAN Edge is a network and security device that consolidates a lot of individual networking and security components that are traditionally found at remote site locations into a single, easy to manage device. Edges are the primary data plane component of the VMware SD-WAN solution. It serves as an edge router to help deliver traffic to the SD-WAN overlay, supporting traditional dynamic routing protocols like OSPF and BGP, plus more. Edges can also serve for switching, supporting VLANs and port assignments of either access or trunk mode. And an integrated firewall with enhanced firewall services to protect against not only internet traffic, but also LAN traffic to inspect and protect east-west traffic flow. There are virtual and hardware versions available of Edge devices and certain capabilities such as integrated LTE modem and Wi-Fi radio are reserved for the smaller hardware models that are targeted for the branch office sites where you can imagine cost savings are significantly impactful when considering thousands of remote site locations that require edge devices. With 5G support being the next component that will be added to selected models. Make sure to always reference the latest VMware SD-WAN datasheet for specifications of each edge platform and model. It's also important to mention edges are application aware with out of the box capability of being able to classify thousands of applications. Edges are also capable of providing additional networking services such as DHCP, NAT, and DNS preferences. And also quality of service or QoS to prioritize the most important traffic for the best end user experience possible. One special function that any edge can perform is that of a hub. Any edge can be promoted as a hub to establish and maintain overlay tunnels with edges that are considered spokes in that overlay network, even when there's no data plane traffic between them. Typically, the edges that are selected to serve this role as a hub are deployed in central locations or data centers. Keep in mind that SD-WAN gateways also run as hubs, providing a hubless option allowing edges to be easily deployed even in data center locations without re-architecturing the data center network. But if the overlay design requires that a hub be deployed, the number of supported tunnels will be limited by the size of the edge platform used. Again, reference the datasheet to identify the max tunnel capabilities per edge model. For large networks containing thousands of remote sites, you can split the load by promoting multiple edges as hubs, or you can utilize clustering, allowing multiple hubs to be leveraged at the same site location while providing the simplicity of managing these hubs as one. This enables greater tunnel capacity for a hub site, allowing up to eight virtual or physical edges to be used. The selection of which edge platform will depend on the required number of tunnels. There's also added benefit of overlay resiliency as the load will be redistributed to other edges in the cluster if one of the edges happens to fail, enabling the overlay tunnels for its spokes to stay active. There may be design requirements that call for multiple hub sites to have this cluster deployment. In that case, cluster interconnect is possible, allowing an increase in the range of spoke edges that can communicate with each other, meaning the spoke of one hub can communicate with the spoke of another hub through this interconnection that is made between two clustered deployments. Consolidating common site components into a single edge device is a great benefit, but the tremendous value of the solution comes from central management. This allows the ability to group configuration that is common amongst multiple remote sites into a single site profile 
to help alleviate the management of multiple devices and their functions in a simple way. This not only helps eliminate misconfiguration of these critical edge components, but also reduces the overall number of IT professionals required to maintain all these remote site locations. Even the deployment of these edge devices is made simple through a couple of different options of zero touch provisioning to either dynamically allow the edges to pull their configuration as they get deployed or to mandate that orchestrator push the configuration instead, covering different deployment requirements that fit the majority of customers and their on-site capabilities. This can all be centrally managed through VMware Edge Cloud Orchestrator to control how the edges are accessed, configured, monitored, and remotely troubleshot. The key takeaways for this video are that VMware SD-WAN Edge is a network appliance that is responsible for sending data traffic as the data plane component of SD-WAN. Edges consolidate common branch office networking and security capabilities. Edges are configured, monitored, and controlled centrally from VMware Edge Cloud Orchestrator. And finally, edges can be deployed as hubs and can be clustered to accommodate high-scale deployment requirements. Thank you for watching.